Welcome back to the Crud Builder, my friends. Today we're taking a little bit of a break from Big Blue to do something that I've been needing to do for a long time, and that is to do a little work on my truck. <clears throat> Love my truck, and I got a couple little projects that I have to knock out today, and I felt that one of them was Crud Builder worthy uh, to make a video out of, and that is I'm building a new way uh, for me to uh, hold my spare tire underneath my bed of my truck. The old, when I bought the truck, um, the old setup had some rust on it and was coming apart and it just generally needs to, uh, I don't know, I could go back to the old way, but I don't like the, uh, I don't like the way that with the cable that drops the, drops the tire down and all that. I don't like to mess with that. So <clears throat> what I've done is here's the spare. And, and here's the plan. Uh, what we're gonna do, I bought one of these wheel centers a long time ago, actually, because I was experimenting with uh, this eight lug rear end. Um, and I didn't, I, I wasn't quite sure what bolt pattern I had. This was before I knew anything about eight lug rear ends. So I bought this one, and this one is the, uh, the newer style eight lug pattern. Um, my truck is a, an 03, so uh, this this will not fit on the, this, this bolt pattern, see? It's just slightly off. This is the old style bolt pattern that's used by a lot of Chevys and GM, uh, Dodge and, and Ford. This is the newer style one, and this one fits perfectly, my spare. So what I'm gonna build is I'm gonna take this wheel center and I'm gonna take these pieces of angle and I'm gonna weld them like this. First, I'm gonna make sure that they're the same height because they're not the same height right now, but it's gonna go a little something like this. And then, so this will get a plate up here that I have to cut and then that plate will be welded underneath the bed of the truck this tire will be flipped, so this is the outside of the of the wheel, um, so it'll be flipped, so it'll snug up under there a little bit more. But then these bolts um, will get welded to uh, this side as well, and then you'll be able to basically set this tire up against this and bolt it to this holder. And then the, the final step that I'll do, which really doesn't require any fabrication, is I'll just get a chain that's the right length, and that chain will go through the hub and around the tire and will get locked uh, with a padlock, which will, you know, hopefully be a deterrent for people wanting to steal my spare. But, that's going to be uh, basically how um, I can take my spare around without having to put it in the bed of my truck, which is what I've been doing. So. I've got these pieces of angle iron cut and uh, I'm just gonna clean up the edges on them now, get them ready to weld. And then I'll weld. I'm gonna weld up the entire uh, kind of. I'm just gonna weld up the entire setup off the truck, and then weld just the plate, the final plate to the top. Um, so. Get these cleaned up. So that's about how high those will sit. And then I'll weld right to that piece underneath. I don't even know if I'm gonna do a plate, guys. I'm gonna go back underneath the truck and uh, clean up the underside with this wheel. Here's the underside of the truck. This, uh, 
<sighs> this mess is the old thing, you know, you, you'd have to put, there was a tool that would go in here that would uh, basically allow you uh, to, you know, like a, like a jack, this cable would lower your, your, uh, when there was a bottom piece and the cable would lower you down. I think I might just weld it directly to these sides. <laughs> That way I can mount these hopefully far enough out on the flat sides. And so uh, I'm gonna knock this out from a, a welding perspective here. All right, I got my piece welded. I got my piece welded here and I'm back under the truck. It's still real hot. I'm not gonna pick it up, but I think I am going to take off take off the old this thing here one of the other challenges that I'm having is this is is raised up here in the middle and I want to center it. So I think I'll just gap weld it when the time comes, but we'll see. this cool down a little bit more and uh, I'll grind and clean this up a little bit more and see what we can come up with I've got the truck turned around and uh, I got this piece ready to go I'm just gonna weld these um, these bolts in here oh should I weld these bolts in here I mean if I ever want to replace them again down the road uh, I won't be able to so but then again yeah I mean how many flat tires am I gonna get in my career right I think I will weld them yeah I'm gonna weld them All right. so got these guys welded in and uh, this baby's fitting like a glove um, so this will weld underneath the bed and uh, all I have to do is tighten down some nuts and run a chain around the whole thing and lock it and I'll have myself a new mount for my spare. So 
Next step in the process is to weld this underneath the truck. I got the welder here. Uh, um, from what I've read, you want to put your ground as close to where you're welding as possible. It's all sorts of electronics in these trucks. Um, other guys say not to worry about it, but just to be safe, you can even disconnect your battery, but I'm not even going to bother with that because I'm not worried about it. But um, if you are, then do it. Um, but we're going to we're going to see how this goes. Well, I got the spare ready to go. I got my four nuts here. I'll show you here. Got this all welded underneath. It's pretty solid. Uh, and uh, we're going to see how this thing fits under here and how easy it is to get on and off. Um, it's going to be the other trick to it, obviously. I could just put a jack under it. Eh, we'll try to lift it ourselves first and get under it. <laughs> this is not probably what you want to be doing on the side of the road in the middle of a rainstorm but whatever <laughs> It just barely fits with my hitch there. It does fit though. Not too shabby. That is getting pretty awesome. Last thing you want is this thing. Last thing you want is this wheel coming off. I don't know if I should do some kind of lock washers or something. I got four here. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if this thing is gonna fall apart at some point. All right. Now, backing up, there she is. I got a spare now. All right. Last step. Oh, all right. Let's crawl back up here. I think what I could do is I'll build a little plate that uh, will go on top of my bottle jack. And that way, if I ever want to get this down, I'll just jack my bottle jack up until it kisses this. Then I'll unbolt them and then lower it down. It'll be easy. All right. Last step is <clears throat> keep the crackheads from stealing my spare. to cut the chain. You know how perfect that turned out. Down in there, up in there, pretty happy chain. Everything is good. Looking at it from the back of the truck. Uh, I don't know. Someone probably could tell that it's a homemade job, but homemade job is what we do around here. <laughs> 